It's that like Air Force One heel. A little bit. It is. Just big. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm a size right. queen over here. <laughs> Let's just get into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that Let's note. Get into it. Uh, Terry's a size queen. What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Size 10 Podcast. I'm Bjorn RG. You can follow me on Instagram at Skate Cub. I'm Nick Scalzone. I'm at Nick Scalzone Comedy on Instagram. And today we have an awesome guest, hilarious comedian, Jeremiah Coughlin. That's me. I'm yeah. here. You can follow me. I don't know. I don't even know what my handles are you don't anymore. Know. They're just. I gave up. Yeah. I don't know. I just. Uh, I think on Twitter I'm ha ha underscore J cough. Oh. Because it sounded like jack off. It does sound like jack off. <laughs> which I thought was funny. That's and then solid. I, th- yeah. I think my Instagram is just my name. Just That's better than my dumb handle that I keep Except using. that my name is like 47 characters <laughs> long. Yeah. Jeremiah Coughlin. That's it. That is. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mouthful. Whole it's, name. It's a lot, yeah. But it like it makes perfect sense. They're like, if somebody's looking for Jeremiah Coughlin and they type in Jeremiah Coughlin, then there yeah. you are. Well, usually if That's someone... That's good for business. Yeah, like after a show, if someone's like, what's your Instagram? And then basically if they get Jeremiah, yeah, there's enough people that know each other in this town or wherever mm-hmm. I'm at where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the third one down right there. Oh, there wow. Because yeah. there's not that many Jeremiahs. So that's, yeah. that's lucky. That's fun. I feel good about that. Where I'm, it's not that hard to figure it out. But yeah, I think my Twitter. I think uh, I was. We used to do the show called, the hell, like Heckle Vision. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where we used to go to the Hollywood Theater and watch a stupid old movie, and then mm-hmm. they would put a, like you signed into this thing, oh. and it was under your Twitter handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone would just like you would make jokes. Oh, okay. And it was like comics just sitting in the audience, like texting jokes to each other but it, they would show up on the screen mm. okay and it was actually kind of fun and i did that and someone was like that's your twitter handle like <laughs> and it was like jeremiah coughlin 1981 62 you know and i was just yeah. like oh yeah and they were like that's too much and I was like, <laughs> so then uh what i wanted to do was have my website be like haha jaycoff okay. and then everyone i like basically all the women in my life were like that's stupid Mm-hmm. That's not your handle, and I was like, no, I think it's funny, yeah. But it's still kind of so. I do have, I think I have like the domain registered somewhere, but so if you visit, haha, Jacoff, yeah, maybe it's I like don't know the I little construction look. worker, like <laughs> yeah, I got, I don't know, I'm bad with all so much social media stuff I and know. websites is, it's really hard, it's ridiculous. Like people, I don't know. I mean, I guess if. If that's like all you're doing, what's your favorite? Like, what's your what's my your favorite one? <laughs> my oh, favorite, actually, this like, is appropriate. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite like social media platform. Yeah, yeah, or any of that yeah. like actual like hustle. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> cut all the rest of them. You keep one. Oh, what I just it? do the gram. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. Instagram. Yeah, I mean, for like what I do, definitely Instagram. For like in my in my own enjoyment, probably TikTok. Okay. It's funny you should say time. that, Jeremiah, because I just created a TikTok for size. Your dumbass <laughs> signed us up for TikTok. <laughs> yes. So maybe there'll be a clip. Maybe this will be the clip. We'll do the yeah. most meta thing. We'll just be like, hey, we have it's a like, TikTok. Oh, TikTok no, we sucks. forgot to tell you when he booked you, uh, you got to do those dumbass <laughs> dances at the end of the I'll show because yeah, we're I, really trying to get this engagement up. Baby. I actually have never been with a baddie. So. <laughs> oh, OK, cool. <laughs> Yeah, we need you to do the big bank. Well, fortunately, we have mm-hmm. the resident baddie right here, uh, yeah. Nick Scalzone. Nick's a baddie. He's um, going to show you how to floss. Yeah, how to I'm the baddest over SpongeBob, here. SpongeBob, sure. all that shit. <laughs> I, I definitely have watched those videos where they like show you how to dance a little bit. They're like, it's like, okay, here's the the steps, oh, yeah, yeah. and then and then they do it real fast. And I, I don't know, I was like, I was alone in my apartment, and I was like, I, oh, that's an easy dance move. Yeah. I'll just try that. And I, I literally fell down. So like, you were standing tutorial. in your living room trying to shuffle dance off of, yeah. off oh, of Instagram Lord. reels? I was able to do it a little bit if I like leaned over the table and like held my weight up. Yeah, and shake like, your ass. That's how it works. <laughs> like, yeah. They're just like the... You, I don't know. you were a borderline baddie. Yeah, Holy yeah. Shit. I think you it's need to get close. Paul to tape you for our TikTok, dude. There you go. We need to go viral. I th- uh, so, uh, as a room full of fair complexion fellas, uh, do you feel like it went off the rails when they stopped telling us how to do the dances in the songs? Like, I love the Cupid <laughs> Shuffle. Tells you exactly how to do it. To the yeah, left. Like, to the right. The electric slide. <laughs> yeah. The electric, the electric slide. slide. All the ones you did in gym class. Like, we need to bring those back. Well, they did the. there was the Tootsie Slide over COVID. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drake, the Tootsie dr- Slide. The Tootsie Slide. Oh, the Tootsie Slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, did I? Wasn't he wrong? just giving you instructions <laughs> on how to do a moonwalk, though? 
do you think I'm going to listen to Drake in the absence of other people? Like I'm closing the blinds at home and not listening to That's like how most people listen. The old shit, the emo the shit. The new shit now, you're, you're really listening to fucking One Dance by yourself? Yeah. Uh, very occasionally, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe totally. It's a good song. I got the game fucked up. It's got shit. a solid beat. What kind there of music go. do you listen to? I listen to everything. Yeah? Yeah. I what? listen to a lot of stuff. What were you rocking on the way over here? Uh, I was actually listening to this podcast on the way over oh, here. Uh, sick. But today, my new thing right now is kind of embarrassing, but it's like I just discovered Chance the Rapper. Okay. Ooh. And Acid Rap mm-hmm. album from Chance the Rapper. With, uh, that, stup- that song called Favorite Song mm-hmm. is literally my favorite song right now. Speaking of being meta. Uh, yeah, you're like, fuck you, Chance. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's just so it's very catchy, right? Yeah. Uh, and it was it's I came upon it also because of TikTok. There was a like super nerd level Stephen Colbert was like yeah did a breakdown of it about how it reminded him of this like <laughs> rhyme that goes with the lord of the rings <laughs> it's like so like huge nerd level thing and then i was like oh i've never heard that song and then i listened to it and it's so it's, it's an ear, it's very ear- earwormy where it's like bang 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 skeet 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 you do that shit for three retweets like it's like very <laughs> like nursery rhyme ish yeah okay yeah but he- it's him and Childish Gambino, mm-hmm. and it's my favorite song right now. <laughs> it's, it's your favorite tough. song? Yeah. I love it. My I'm going to have some, to uh, listen to that. Can I give you some insight as a Chance former fan? He says bad words. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, oh, does he say naughty words? I was like, it's 2013, and you can't just say, like, he was in word like slapper. School. Like, you can't just say oh, you're going to. Oh, yeah. You can't just say that. Um. It that may be true. Uh, his newer music. It makes me uncomfortable. Where I'm like, in that song in the beginning yeah. of it, he says like, "Slap happy faggot slapper." And yeah. You're like, oh, chance no. Edit that if you have to. But I was just like, what? Wh- why? Like, aren't we past this? Like, this isn't Eminem in 1997. Like, you can't just say that. Just because yeah, he's got the nerdy wild. clothes doesn't mean he's not from Chicago. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, I'd say it made me very uncomfortable. Run through acid rap and then just close the book on Chance because he gets really into like you know he's like he's a man of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, He's big on Jesus. And then he got married, and then all of his shit just got super whack. And Uh, that's like where he wears the three on his hat. It's like. Oh, it's, oh, it's like about Jesus, no. oh, I think. Oh, God, I, I have to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Fool this man! Yeah. No! Chance the Rapper. No! Yeah, you know, you can boo me because I like that song. But <laughs> it's just like, it is very, it's like everything else on TikTok where it's very earwormy. Oh, totally. Mm-hmm. And then I wake up and I'm like, and then I want to yeah. listen to it and then I listen to it. And I'm like, oh, why did he say that? But the whole rest of the song... And the Gambino parts are actually really good. The Bino you're, part is um, my favorite, yeah. You're yeah, going to be like, the first adult listener to rap music who's like, you know what? I really need a radio edit of this song. Yeah. Uh, it's like, this makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I can't play I this like in the this. car with my wife. All the bitches and hoes stuff. That's yeah. no problem. But <laughs> Why does he say that? Yeah, I can definitely relate. Like, I've been listening to a lot of music that's just from TikTok videos. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like some weird Russian band. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> They just like they put on car videos, <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, this song slaps. <laughs> That's very new, weird. Uh, I got to walk out to it. Uh, I did a show in Salem last week, and they were like, "What do you want your music to be?" And there's, uh, it's from TikTok. It's this, this, it's a brother and sister from Minneapolis called Dury. Okay. Like D U R R Y, and they're just like a rock. It's like very straightforward, like american rock and roll but there's a song called who's laughing now okay that's like my favorite and it's song starts he's like uh, mom always said i'd regret it if i ever got a tattoo and then uh, the guy actually has a tattoo on his leg that says you're gonna regret this and then it's oh. signed mom like his mom oh, actually wrote funny. it in her handwriting like you're gonna regret this uh but it's like everything in it's like call and response you know and yeah. it's like also the same thing like very catchy mm-hmm. uh, yeah and that's totally like they blew up because of TikTok. Yeah. And it is just like a like a cute like sister and her brother and they, they slap, dude. They rock it. I love it. That's so awesome. We've talked about this on the show a little bit before. There's like the Portland uh Minneapolis 
like hybrid, yeah. like a lot of crossover. And I think I'm going to show a little evidence to this right now because here's the band that you're talking <laughs> about. Yeah. And you tell me that these motherfuckers do not look like the two most Portland people you've ever mm-hmm. seen Dude, in your I life. I saw those people today. <laughs> I think yeah. I was that guy last week. I took a walk uh, <laughs> at lunchtime today, and they were they were in Northwest does Portland Does it say Boise today? River? I think it does say Boise River. Boise Festival. River Festival. So, I mean, that's like... That's half. Boise's halfway between Minnesota and Portland. I didn't know they had irony in. Uh, oh, hold on. There's there's another one. We're just gonna uh, we're just gonna look at pictures of this band all evening. Yeah, no, these yeah. guys. Oh my God, those are your neighbors. Yeah, <laughs> like that's mm-hmm. all of our neighbors. <laughs> no, I think this is me, and then I'm the one pissing off my neighbors because I look like this. Yeah, they are very. Uh, they're they're hipsters, man. Mm. They definitely have chickens in their yard. And oh, 100%. like all of my headshots have that yellow background. Like that's like <laughs> every photographer yeah. wants to do that because it's super easy to just do like a white background mm-hmm. and then you put a yellow filter on it. Mm-hmm. And so actually like three of my current headshots have like that exact same yellow background mm-hmm. on it. So you should photo yourself, uh, Photoshop yourself into their album. I should. That's That'd a good sick. idea. Yeah. I do love how in Portland. They're good tunes though all of the comedians have headshots from like the same three people and so there's a lot of like mm-hmm. that blue that like baby blue i'm like oh okay so that i know yeah. who did your headshots yeah it was like, the best nick, color nick she you had. got you got those headshots <laughs> don't like, you she had a dozen <laughs> colors but that was by far the nicest one yeah if, i think it's just opinion, like the easiest setup because yeah. even i went to a brand new guy this time someone i'd never met before yeah brand new headshot same yellow background I think it's just like the way that it works. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of what I think I did like white or gray. Home, There's in case you were wondering. <laughs> That's the color. That's that blue right there. Yeah, yeah kind of teal. Is that what yeah. that is? Aquamarine. You can make up some words for that for that color. I'm looking at a photo right now, and I don't know <laughs> if this is you or not. I know. Hold on. Like, no, 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 not that one. This one. Is this you? Yeah. yeah that same is you. Same. Yeah. Look at these glasses. They're the same ones. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right, uh, right. that's pre-COVID, right? Yeah, or that like, is pre-COVID. COVID was like no, in the news at 2019, that time. Twenty nineteen, right? no, it they were just making say, it in the lab. A, yeah, this but is a throwback. <laughs> they were just. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jeremiah, if you they didn't were putting know. the finishing touch on COVID. We got a truther over here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we probably get in YouTube jail for saying that. I know, right? I don't think that. Uh, that would probably yeah, thought it was a joke. More listeners. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh we <laughs> we got to have our thing. Uh, that's what we got to we'll do. We'll do we gotta significantly get li- better in the Midwest now. We're going to get these listeners up. One of you guys needs to get canceled. <laughs> yeah. Like, we just got to th- say some wild stuff. No, for something cool. Iver- Ivermectin or What's whatever. What's the coolest thing you can get canceled for, Bjorn? Coolest thing you can get canceled yeah. for? What's the coolest fucking thing? You're just like, hell yeah. Oh, I don't know. This is a tough question. This is a tough question. Jeremiah, what? We should answer yeah. this one off air, actually. What do you think? Oh, okay. There <laughs> this it is. Would be oh, a, uh, okay. Yellow background. Yeah, I that's like good. It. it works It works really well. I like yeah. it. You did it the same one before. Yeah. And that's a, yeah, that's an old one. And then these new shots have, this have a, a similar, similar yeah. yellow. That one you had to look like you were you were about to do like a serious hour. Like you were gonna go to Edinburgh and talk about some real shit. Yeah, get people, real. People did say that. Yeah, oh. yeah like, Coughlin gets real. That's yeah. yeah. That's totally. Speaking of getting real, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You've spent a little time with the Portland Pickles. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys were just talking about that. Yeah. Uh, well, why don't, how about this for the listeners at home? I know a little bit. Why don't you you tell us uh, what you've been up to over at those folks? Oh, the Dylan uh, Dylan T. Pickle stuff? Is that what you're talking about? I have no idea. I just oh, know that okay. you're involved with Pickles and stuff. Oh, way. well, I'm a part of their public address. They're a college mm. wood bat uh, team, just to clear up for your listeners, because you said they're like quadruple. <laughs> you are a play. listener. All right. <laughs> yeah, I listen to one episode. Yeah. Uh, no, they're uh, college wood bats, so they're college kids, mostly like Pac-12, uh, West Coast's. Um, yeah, so like there's a couple famous leagues across the United States. There's the Cape Cod League, there's the Northwoods League, which is in like Minnesota and Wisconsin, and then there's the West Coast League. And it's, uh, yeah, it's like the premier West Coast college wood bat baseball team. And so we are definitely way too big of a market to have a team that only is at this level. <laughs> so it's what we have, uh, but it's, yeah, it's fun. So, the owners basically bought the team as like not a joke necessarily, but like a, like let's see if we can make this cool. Like okay. it was like an experiment. So one of the owners is John Ryan, who was a punter for the Seattle Seahawks. And the other owner is this guy who owns this company called Culture Collide. And he basically is it's like um, 
of like have you ever heard of like C three Entertainment or those like people that put on. Uh, what's that? What's who puts on Coachella like Golden Voice? Oh, okay. So it's like sort of like that, where it's like we're like a lifestyle, like we put people together with brands, right? Where it's like if you want to have a music festival, but you're Doc Martens or Airwalk or f- name a thing, you know, yeah. like mm. Bush Light. Yeah. Like we're the people that know the people that can like make your brand cooler. Uh, okay. Right. So he's been very successful at that. So then he's like, well, I'm he's a big sports guy, big baseball guy. So they bought a baseball team and have moved them like kind of up into this West Coast League. And then, yeah, Jake Silberman and I, we started a podcast about the team called Brian Time. And um, based on that, like they just liked what we were doing. And so they needed someone to do like their on-field hosting, which is – like the second half of public address, you mm-hmm. know, like you have like the now batting guy. Yeah. And then someone who's like, does like contests and stuff. And so they brought us on to do that, but they were like, just do whatever you want. Oh, oh. And so they just gave us microphones and we were just, <laughs> God damn it. yeah, it was really fucking stupid. It was a bad idea. And then we just, we just walk around and like, some people hate it. Some people like wear earplugs and are like, we're here to watch baseball. We don't like this. Oh. And then last year was just me like by myself and they were like just create chaos you know like i <laughs> uh i had like a kid from the bend elks like try to fight me oh uh, my God. i had a lot of crazy stuff happen oh, wow. yeah my hero uh i do a lot of event announcing and mm-hmm. like snowboard shit and oh, that yeah. to me is like the dream scenario like if someone called me up and they're like hey you do whatever the fuck you want. Here's a cordless. Walk around. Yeah. I'm like, it's so free? Fun. How much do I have to give you? What do right. I have to pay to do this? So wait, the Bend Elks, is that a competing team? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. not like a member of the Elks Lodge. No, no. It was okay. like a 20-year-old kid who was like, uh, what? who I had was like the, um, the members of the Portland Thorns. It was soccer day. Mm-hmm. So like Maddie Pogarsh and like a couple other people – from the thorns were like up on the party deck and we just started heckling this pitcher like just <laughs> like just getting at him you nice. know but like okay. in between pitches like off the microphone but i'm i don't need a microphone i'm loud right <laughs> and basically as long as i don't say into the microphone i can say whatever i want okay oh, oh, no. and i don't like i don't need the microphone like it's good to yeah. have but i don't really need it so, right so we're just like going at this kid and we get him shook <laughs> and he can't throw a strike like to save his life he's got the yips yeah so they pull him out of the game and like i'm i like i'm just like walking around doing my job and this dude like comes up to me and is like is this what you want to be doing with your life and i was like yeah bro. yeah like yeah, this is a lot better than being on field <laughs> awesome <laughs> and then he's like he's like you're just gonna like pick on kids and I was like, how old are you, dude? He's like, 20. And I was like, you're not a kid, man. Yeah. Like, you need to grow up. Like, especially if you want to play baseball. Like, if yeah. you're going to play, like, college baseball at a high level or anything like that, like, this is pretty tame, bro. Like, yeah, we're not really coming at you that hard. So, yeah, that's what we did. And now, like, um, we do a comedy show at – so they, they opened a store downtown in the World Trade Center. The, so they have – it's called the Pickle Jar – and mm-hmm. it's like their merch, like they have like a, it's like their standalone merch store and they do like events there too. So this coming uh, Friday, which this won't be out yet, but uh, that's why I asked you when this was coming out. Oh, so okay. this Friday, the 21st, we're doing a comedy show. Me and Jake, uh, Diana Potter and Jaron George are doing oh, comedy. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. So the, I don't know. They just were on Colbert. You saw that? So like the. Yeah. The, or, no, I, I didn't see okay, that. Okay. So Dylan. Yeah, Dylan T. Pickle. Oh, yeah, this, this this is what I was building <laughs> towards. <laughs> situation here is uh, yeah, y'all got see, a little loose oh, that's on a, uh, social. <laughs> I'm not a member of the social media team. I'm a member of the public address that's team. That's a suggestive photograph right there. Uh, that's a thumbs up. Get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah, Nick. well, and and the fact that they tagged like Manscaped, Manscaped. and <laughs> that uh, is awesome. like Steakums and then like beef jerky, like a bunch of <laughs> random stuff. Uh, I, more of a pickle jerky. If dude. it had been like me, I definitely would have used a real pickle for this part. Like I thought that would like, an like a kind of a wet, like kind of yeah. Lord, with like slimy, glistening yeah, pickle. <laughs> they don't ask me these things. Full um, size or you no. don't like a gherkin? Uh, oh no no no, oversized. Um, I'm compensating for sure. Okay. Um, and they, I spoke with a representative from the team today, and um, 
Yeah, Dylan is definitely suspended indefinitely, and there is an internal investigation <laughs> as mm. to uh, what uh, what's going on here. But uh, yeah, I mean, they put it all over. It's it's it was really smart uh, because people are upset. But what are you gonna do? It's literally I, a I think mascot. more people are gonna laugh hard at this than will be upset. I yeah. think I saw. If it, you're upset, then you might be stupid. Y- also. If you're <laughs> upset by this, you're really boring. I yes. saw it very early on, and there was someone who had what I will say is a good point being weaponized in a way that just felt like, eh, come on, That's read the just fucking sounds move. like Twitter in a nutshell. Uh, Portland Twitter yeah. is like <laughs> can get a little uh, pointy. Uh, and then they just got drowned out by like a million people that are just like, ha ha, dick pig, sick. <laughs> what was their point? Uh, not worth getting into on air. I don't tell oh, you about okay. it off air. But it's just like, it, again, it was like, eh, you're not wrong. Not the correct venue to be addressing these <laughs> issues. Like, this is a fucking pickle, man. It's like, like, tell us what's in the vaccine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but I just, I thought this was funny because like, once you said that the, the owners kind of like picked up the team and they're like, oh, let's just have some fun. Let our hair down. Like, who fucking cares? Mm -hmm. That, to me, is exactly how some of these sports leagues should be run. Like, I want a little bit of XFL in my collegiate (laughs) sports. Yeah, well, and people people will say that they're, like, into it. Um, Like, that same, the, like, management from that Ben team. I met them the day before, and they were like, oh, my God, like, we love what you do. We think it's so great. And then, like, when it was turned, like, weaponized against them, and, like, like, we – Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, like, rattled their pitcher. They were like, (laughs) they shouldn't allow you to even be here. It's all all fun and games until some pitcher gets the yips. Yeah, yeah. until it actually works. Yeah. (laughs) Boo-hooing. But, yeah, it's it's the greatest job in the world. I I plan to be back this summer. Uh, Yeah. And so, yeah, we're doing comedy there, and uh, we'll be probably doing that somewhat monthly. Oh, cool. And then the the pod will be back. So I've done basically, like, all the stuff that Jake and I started together. He was supposed to move, and then COVID, and he didn't move, and then right. blah, blah, blah. And he just, like, wasn't up for it. So I've just been doing it all by myself. <laughs> I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, Terry's, would, Terry's I like, I just quit my job. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, my question to you is, I wouldn't normally do this with jokes. Would you be willing to punch up a heckle? Punch up a heckle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's that? what do you mean? I used to go to Beavers games all the time. I used to bring a lot of children with me. I used to run summer camps. I went to, I went to Beavers games with you. So you might remember, <laughs> yeah. top of the ninth, two out, I would get 30 children to chant, warm up the bus. Is there anything oh, that I can funny. do to kind of like twist the knife on the opposing team at the end of the game? Or anything that like, what's mm. your tried and true go-tos when you really yeah. want to get under their skin? Well, uh... To tie in with that, like, uh, I don't do it so much of the Pickles games, but if I'm just at a baseball game, mm-hmm. I'll go with your walking home, uh, which is, that's like, like one it. of my favorite, that's one of my favorite <laughs> yeah. heckles. Yeah. Like, you know, where it's like, you're walking home 3-8, you know, uh, yeah. after he blows it. So, like, if they're warming up the bus, then it's like, you don't even get to go on, get the on the bus. bus. Yeah. Uh, like that. <laughs> that's good. And especially, yeah. like, in some of the, yeah, the lower leagues, you're like, not that far from the truth. You're not walking, but you're taking yeah. that 88 Corolla and <laughs> yeah. hoping that you got enough gas to make it home. Yeah, and then like with the pickles, they it's definitely like they want me to be cheering for our team more than discouraging the other team. Okay. Let's put it that way. You like build them up, not there tear is, them down. Yeah, I mean yeah. there is like a fine line. Uh, like early on. There was a guy who tried to convince an umpire that he'd been hit, like by a pitch, mm-hmm. and his last name happened to be De Niro. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, I said something about how acting runs in the family or something, which I thought was <laughs> really good. Oh, no, he's got him. A great yeah. heckling. Yes. Yeah, and they were like, you can't just you can't go at guys like that. You're like, like, no, okay. no, no, but it was too good. Yeah, I had it's to. Right yeah. there. He like pulled up his pant leg and was like, dude, look, I got hit. And they were like, no. <laughs> You're still here. You're still in the box. And, and then, did you say that into the microphone? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, De Niro. Yeah. I got, that was I, like one of they've I threatened feel to like, kick us out for sure. But. I feel like that's that's worth sending it on. That's a good yeah. joke. Well, yeah. Like, there's also so many places you can go. You should be like, yo, you throw him over the plate. I'm going to swing at him. Like, come on. It's too easy. You're setting mm-hmm. you're, I'm playing T ball out here with these fucking dickheads. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It can be, it can be a lot of fun. I like, uh, I don't know. The <laughs> some of the best uh, like timing 
when people have like heckles and stuff like mm-hmm. I've talked about this on the pod. I was at a baseball game in Las Vegas with my dad mm-hmm. and um, they were talking about because the the team that they were playing was uh, the double A team. And the team where my dad lives is the single A team. And this like these it was like dollar beer night. And I don't know if you know, like in Vegas, there's like a bunch of Air Force dudes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was like just these drunk dudes who were like kinda out of hand. What's like, the is it the A's? What's the name of the team? Well now it's now it's the Aviators. Yeah. Oh, it used okay. to be the Vegas fifty ones, which was really cool. It was like yeah. an alien head with like baseball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the fun stuff that's you get in the lower leagues. Like, went away from <laughs> I that. went to yeah. dog night awesome. at once when oh, I yeah, lived yeah. there. They I brought a, my dog to the mm-hmm. to the literally that's the only reason I don't even really like baseball that they much. I was like I can bring my dog to the stadium. Let's do yeah. this. We have that at the Pickles. We have Wolf Wednesday. But the Aviators or the 51s actually had a dog, Bat Boy. Oh, really? They would go get the bats and bring them back. This is animal really cool. abuse. I'm calling them, I'm calling animal yeah, control. Man, jo- hey. Dogs like that. Jo- you can bring bucket, all the dogs to a game and be like, hey, you're going to play dude. with the ball. You don't get to fuck with the ball at all. And you <laughs> just got to sit there the and field. watch. Yeah, that's, that's a good boy. He's I, fetching things. I took my dog to the driving range golfing, yeah. and I realized that was a terrible idea. And I, yeah. I had him like chained up, or like chained up. I had him tied up. <laughs> and I'm like hitting balls. Yeah, you need quite and a chain to losing his mind. And I was like, yeah, this is a bad idea. You're going to stay in the car, bud, for the rest of this bucket. <laughs> I was going to say, Jeremiah, for, for reference, <laughs> Bjorn's dog is right there on the television. Yeah, and that's, that's basically <laughs> to scale. Yeah, no. So <laughs> this beast. Tied yeah. up. You had him chained up. Chained yeah. up. I yeah. just imagine you with like uh, in like old school. Like when he's yeah. like, you little fucker. He like grabs him by the <laughs> chain, you know, like <laughs> Stifler. <laughs> like, very, oh. very evocative of like yeah. early DMX videos is what you really want to yeah. bring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, bucket. no, 13 bucket pounds for of... sure would be on the cover of Bjorn's rap album. <laughs> Yeah, with like barking. Mid the dog's bark. name is Bucket. It is Bucket. And he took it to the drain range to hit a bucket mm-hmm. of uh, balls. See? <laughs> abuse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I abuse. didn't think it through. I was like, ah, oh, they'll let me bring him out here. And then they did. And I was like, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. They're like, you can, but why? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> sure. Uh, go ahead. It's like taking him frisbee golfing. It's equally as bad. It's like, yeah, no, don't mm-hmm. go get this one. <laughs> but That'll wear him out for the day, though. Yeah, frisbee golf, like yeah, and right. that's that's lower. There's fewer people at that. Yeah, it's so still you could just, just caddy for you. Uh, just walking around a park. We bought a tennis ball cannon. Yeah, for Christmas for my dog, uh, which is um, yeah, it's been close a couple times to breaking the TV. Oh, really? It's an outdoor toy, but, oh, but you're it's playing like neither of us really want to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, if I just like aim it like. So it hits the ground first, and then a corner, mm-hmm. and bounces. Then it'll be okay. But full yeah. size tennis balls, yeah, or like little ones. Yeah, it's like a Nerf, and it's like this big. <laughs> uh, and then you can actually like pull it back, so there's like three settings to how like far it'll launch it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Like gotta, if you shoot it outside, like at a good angle, how far is it gonna go? I think probably like a hundred yards. Shut yeah, like oh, I think football field. Yeah, I think oh. it's. Uh, okay, I was like, just going to ask if these things juice. have nut, because I've seen them before. I got a dog that runs like the Dickens, yeah. and I have like the Chuckets, and they're fine, but I really want to tire them out. I might have to get one of these guns. Yeah, yeah. and you can- 100 they, yards, god yeah, damn. You can, I mean, that would be a guess. <laughs> that will break a TV, of, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's going to break that's a TV. That's on setting one, and it's still, yeah, it's a little Sheesh. Sketch. Yeah, that's definitely now. I was thinking of the, like the little like dog one that I've seen on TikTok. I guess we're bringing it back again. <laughs> God, you're hey, so TikTok. Hey, you know, I've just been just scrolling on that way too much. But like the little one, the dogs can put it back because you can't load it. Uh, right? Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's like actually for tennis or something, right? He can't he can't load the because there's there's ones where there's like a little basket and the dog can like drop it in there oh so this is like an automated thing where it like he puts it in a basket and then it just goes and yeah. gets it across the room yeah and the dog goes yeah and gets i don't it and i don't it trust those things here's what they look like yeah uh, those because like it's just too good to be true like oh my dog's gonna like not get bored with this in three minutes i feel like the dog's gonna start to resent you yeah he's like what i'm too good i've been outsourced yeah that's just like if you if you Make your kid just watch Sesame Street to babysit itself for too many, like too long. Yeah, yeah, they're not getting the drugs. Yeah, yeah. that's um, plus one hundred and seven dollars on Amazon. That's that's the thing. It's just like a little steep for like what it is. So it. that is like what? See it laying there. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. actual cannon. Oh, okay, and it's pretty good size. I mean, that's oh, like wow. under my TV. Yeah, I was gonna say because I found <laughs> this one, but that's a different one, right? Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah. 
Similar okay. design. That looks fun. I, I that seems like a good time. Well, Uncle even Nick, if whenever you, you want to come over, I no, you, even you can without a dog, out. just don't. Does it say it, go around. back to the se- go back to the description on that? Does it tell Ooh. you how far it will shoot? Yeah, but be like, I don't not trust even close those fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do a little research. In the meantime, we should probably talk about some shoes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know. That's why we uh, brought you here. We, shoes. I'm we'll a big uh, non. Shoe guy. Yeah, I'm a I'm shoe guy. I'm post shoes. Uh, I don't know. I did see my massage guy wears socks, like the toe socks. Okay. Which Ew. I thought was a little weird, but. That is weird. It, it looked like comfortable, though. I, I will I'm, say I for any men, it. like that's the guy. It's the yeah. massage guy that you're like, yeah, to- yeah, okay. He's like on ayahuasca the whole time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. If I walk yeah. into like a doctor's office and he's got open-toed sandals with toe like, socks, I'm finding another doctor. Unless socks. it's like holistic. And then I'm going to let it slide too. Have you ever worn them? I've never worn toe socks. No, but I'm interested in trying. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah it just feels- I mean, if you treat COVID with acupuncture, <laughs> then that's the shoes for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The toe socks. I guess yeah. That like there's like there's Isn't sandals that, with socks and then sandals with toe aren't socks those, is like. Aren't those like toe shoes like meant for? They're they're for like the. I don't running. know what they're for. No, they they were made for like those people who are like well, humans evolved to oh, run yeah, barefoot. The, pe- the people and that run barefoot. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. Good. But I feel like the socks are just for comfort. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's like I don't think it's like any kind of statement or anything. I think it was just like. Oh, I like to have each individual Tootsie in its own wrapper. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I was always more of a mittens guy when I snowboarded. See? So I feel, like, opposite. Yeah. I feel like I'm good with the current yeah. sitch of uh, not, uh, not individualizing them. All I'm saying is I've never seen <laughs> sandals with four thongs on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I don't be. know that I need that much in between like my a, toes. Like I've seen a two really extra flip flop. I feel yeah. like there's like a like a Chico or one of those that has like two. It's got like it's a got couple. Oh yeah, like the Tiva. Yeah, there's like it's multiple, got multiple toe holes. Multiple mm-hmm. toes. I feel like we're thongs. dangerously close to like foot fetish territory <laughs> uh, with this topic. Like, but isn't well, that what the whole? Yeah, about, I mean, I yeah, that, there's yeah. money foot on fetish. the internet in that, so I think we should maybe keep we talking need a name change. We're just <laughs> foot fetishists, <laughs> right. the podcast uh, size ten. Oh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, shoes. I'm gonna throw these ones up. Yeah, so this what, is what you brought? Yeah, tell what'd me, you tell bring? Us about these for? Shoes. Yeah, Adidas Ultra Boosts, Lego edition. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I just thought they were cute. The weird thing is, like the inside of them. Like, uh, I'll bring this out. They are pretty clean, but it actually has like that's oh, my dog's wow. hair. Oh, wow. It actually has like bumps, like a Lego. Yeah. Does that does that increase the comfort? Mm, kind of not actually. Like at first, I was like, I don't know that I like this, and then it kind of grows on you. But mm. at first, it was like, why do I need nubby the, insoles? A little like, bit like sand. Like you're walking on, your on Legos, right? Oh. Which is like, as yeah, we know, is the least. Yeah, that's yeah, how you get your Legos thing. thrown away. Yeah, yeah that's try the, to avoid that when your yeah. mom steps Gold on them. Standard horrible yeah. thing to step on. And I've never actually tried to, but I'm I'm almost convinced that you could. Build like Legos onto this. They're to the right um, specs. I, I yeah. bet they are. I bet you could like attach. Could you attach one of these on each side? This is when we were talking <laughs> about Adidas Legos. I thought this was what Can we I were gonna see. Yeah, they're. Uh, I washed them. Uh, they are a little bit muddy because my car got crashed into, and mm. I had to go to a place to like you know they're like oh go get your stuff out of your car, and I thought it would be like a parking lot, mm-hmm. and it was literally like a mud like <laughs> just a big mud pit and it was oh, like yeah. and they were like oh the tow truck is coming to take it to the junkyard <laughs> oh, no. you have to come get your stuff out of your car right now Otherwise it's so gonna th- be the these cube. are what i was wearing <laughs> so they got a little bit they muddy a little muddy but overall i try to keep them pretty clean they are pretty comfortable like i said like this boost whatever this Adida Preen, yeah, the, the the boost phone, whatever the hell you call this, uh, yeah. has cured my plantar fasciitis, uh, and so yeah, I mean, like these, I started with like I was saying the the original like pure boosts mm-hmm. that were when I when I first saw them I was like these are stupid, <laughs> there's no insole like it was you're just on the bottom of the shoe, oh, okay, and that's I think that's how these are too where there's like no there's not yeah. really. These have a little bit of an insole, but yeah, they, the ones that I have of those have an insole, but it's literally just a thin layer of foam. Yeah, it's just something that. But the separate. original Pure Boost ones, they didn't like. You were on the bottom of the shoe, hmm. and yeah. but it, and it was like the same kind of like how this is like a web pattern. It was like the same as that. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. And then the tongue was like folded over. And I was like, you know, I'm an obese person. I'm, I don't know if you can t- <laughs> tell by my breathing, <laughs> but I got a little bit of a weight problem. And uh, I was like, mm, I don't think I'm going to like this. And really, any, any shoe that doesn't have like an opening, you know, yeah. like where you can like make it bigger. Mm-hmm. It's not like I, I own a shoehorn now, which yeah. is the best purchase. Do you if you don't sh- own a shoehorn, get one. It's long handle. You got the it's long like the, one? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Buddy. I, It's amazing. I, I can, I can easy, easy for this one, but like I got some hip issues from skateboarding and it, like this is just the most painful thing to watch. We're me turning put, into old man. Oh, like, oh, and then so you much. buy yourself a shoehorn. <laughs> I'm like, you got I'm, a I'm a holdout. Too? I oh, do. You bet your ass I do. Bamboo <laughs> sits right on my desk. Yeah. Good it's deal. Like, boom. My oh. wife actually carries like a telescoping back scratcher, which is amazing. Like it looks like it's like the size of like a like pen. A pocket But one. you can actually like make it longer. Oh, it's mm. so great. I feel like what would very quickly, what's your response <laughs> if you were in a public setting and someone's just like and you're like, yeah. is that gonna teach us something? High then, five. High five. I think it's like, a super flex. <laughs> scratch his back. Yeah. And yeah. then and then telescope right back in, back I'm, into the fanny pack. I'm <laughs> happy for him. I've yeah. had an itchy back. I I, I mean there you go. I'm a solutions think, driven person. I know? think I'm slapping the person next to me, regardless of whether I know him, and like pointing and be like, dude, look at this shit. But like in a very I'm jealous way. Yeah. I need to get one of those. Maybe I can be that person. Did these I come in a different color besides blue? Greatness. Uh I will let you know in a moment. I think they did. I seem to remember I feel like they it was yellow, red, they released black, a few probably different was, ones. And I these think came out pretty multi-pack? recently, right? Yeah. Last year or so. The Adidas employee store. Um there's nice. been a few of these Lego collabs. I actually haven't yeah. seen this one because I have a pair yeah, because this is a this is the original one that they did. Which that's is that's less model. Lego-y, though. Yeah. It, it didn't look very Lego-y to me. They had one that was, like, rainbow colored. That was yeah. The very right. first one, that was a real crazy one. That one looked very Lego-y. Huh. This is the kind of thing I would get from the employee star, for sure. Uh, like, that's, that's yeah, the right Yeah, I think right they were cheap. Place. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that oh, one's cool. Oh, that is this actually one is cool. big Lego. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that one's got some I mean, that's colors. the exact same shoe. It's just different colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it looks, it's more pronounced. I feel like they also just did one like this in the green, in the yellow, in the red, and then also the blue. I like the I like the rainbow because that's what they did with the other ones in the past. It reminds me, uh, growing up as a fat kid, uh, I used to wear Mick Kids. I actually saw a picture of myself in first grade. Mick Someone Kids. Had, Mick Kids. McDonald's used to have a clothing oh. line. Oh, mm. it was called Mick Kids, <laughs> and it was. <laughs> Just like branded McDonald's clothing, like it was like blue T-shirts, like very much like these same color schemes, mm-hmm. like very mm-hmm. like Hamburglar, Mister, mm-hmm. you know, like Mayor McCheese, but like clothing for kids. It was like Oshkosh Bagosh, but Mick Kids, <laughs> and I rocked a lot of that shit. It was great. I had a red mullet and a Mick Kids, and like this is definitely sounds like a good. This would be the dude. sneaker hey. to be wearing. I yeah. feel, bring I feel the whole like you should together. bring the mullet yeah. back, and then <laughs> mm-hmm. and then also see if they do just like. I have thought about Mick adults. Mick do adults. They, do, they, yeah. do they still have a clothing Grown line? Grown mix. Uh, <laughs> Mick groans. Yeah. Uh, I've thought about that too. I was talking to my sister because I wanted to get some like Oshkosh, like my original, like one of uh, the first pictures of me. I have a sister who's like 13 months older than me mm-hmm. and like we're basically Irish twins and we look like we're twins. Okay. And like the, one of the first pictures of us, I'm wearing like the typical like Oshkosh blue overalls. And yeah. I was like, we should do like a recreation. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think they make like an Oshkosh. Like, and my, one of my sisters was like, just get some and cut the tag off and just <laughs> sew it on to so- like, some shit from Bymart that will fit your <laughs> yeah. tubby ass, you know? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Wait, so, like, the, are you talking about, like, the seersucker, the the striped train conductor ones? Or the, like... No, just, like, voice. the dark blue, like, the dark oh, okay. blue denim. No, but, like, the what you're talking about is... is I've never heard it called seersucker. I call it hickory. Oh, hickory, like, yeah. Like, where you look like it's, like, the train conductor. And yeah, I wear... Yeah. I have, like, a couple shirts like that. Like, I have a jacket that's like that. And that's, like, definitely... Like I'm into that a lot. That's yeah, fun. Overalls would be fun like that too, which yeah. I've talked about mm-hmm. that. I was just talking about, uh, I went and saw modest mouse at, um, Edgefield. Yeah. At Edgefield. Yeah. It's a good <laughs> yeah. show. 
<laughs> was a good show. Uh, but dude was wearing like uh, coveralls. Yeah. Like short yeah. sleeve, like Dickies coveralls. And I was like, I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> I, I think that'd be funny to wear on stage. And like everybody I brought that up to has been like, you know, that could really put you over the top. That could be like Larry the Cable Guy like cutting, his, cutting his sleeves off, you know? Like, like that's the thing. That yeah. So it's like Bert one taking his shirt off. Like... Yeah. Well, and that was the thing is like, dude, he that was the joke he made where he was like, my I am so bad at like dressing myself that my shirt is my pants. <laughs> yeah. And my pants is my shirts. And I was like, yeah, I think I can run with that. I'm on board with that. Yeah, see now you're talking. I have I have a pair oh, those of those. I, I see have... Hickory. I was right. Yeah, you're right. I was. Yeah. Seersucker. You're not. What wrong. am I thinking of? Seersucker, Seersucker is the same kind of style, but it's linen typically, and it's made in a suit that you wear in the summer. But it okay. does have the vertical stripes that are like from far away. You can't see them. Okay, I guess Seersucker, I got it mixed up. It's like up. a really loose knit type of material, or knit it's, or it's loose linen. Weave. It's I was linen, close. So it's like lightweight. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. like the, the actual fabric is like so a your loose sucker weave does or whatever. sound like something. It kind of looks pre wrinkled, right? I have yeah. two pairs of these. I have Do one. Do you cuff them? Uh, yeah. And wear them with Chuck Taylors? Like no, this guy? I don't. I'd fuck this I guy. I should. Look how cute <laughs> yeah. he looks, uh, That's adorable. It is a little I, like fetishy though, right? I do have my my second pair is shorts and it's like a stretchy oh, one because yeah. it was a stretchy fabric. I got it from so like it's like a romper. Yeah, <laughs> and no, I look is... like a giant toddler when I wear them, yeah. and I get nothing but compliments from women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> That's they're like, terrifying. They're like, I, I'm gonna kidnap well, that giant baby. No, yeah, why do all these women want to fuck a giant baby? <laughs> I don't know. It's like that motherly instinct. They're That's like, right. I'd Freud, just cuddle him. Freud like, wasn't that far off. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a confidence move. He's wearing the most outrageous costume he could find, <laughs> just it, on yeah. a regular day. That's yeah. a confidence That's right. move. He's not going to, you know, he's not going to Burning Man. He's just <laughs> wearing a romper. Yeah, he's just just. Yeah. Riding the train to Powell's. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually conducting this train to Powell's. Yeah, right? They're like, I, sir, I did, you need to sit in the front. I uh, did find myself on you the say train. Did you a lot? <laughs> yeah. And I was just Every like. Every time it leaves the station, oh, you're just like. Oh, God. <laughs> Every time you get on the train, they're like, uh, my ticket. Uh, uh, uh. They're like, you're good. Yeah. Do you have a pocket watch? I definitely <laughs> got on the train and then realized what I was wearing when I, I was like, oh, oh buddy, what like, are you doing? A little on the oh, nose. Yeah. I'm just like, there's definitely some tourist that's like visiting Portland and just like, yep. <laughs> it's like, we got we got losers like you in Minneapolis, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're like, that was last season in Minneapolis. Uh, uh, I have lived in Minneapolis and ridden the train in those overalls, so yeah. it could have been me. Uh, See? A real trendsetter out here. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So for every um, – you listen to one of the episodes, but for every episode, we sure. always ask – we like to talk about uh, – we haven't talked about trucks much this episode, but we no. usually talk about trucks, and we talk about rap music. So a lot of rappers yeah. talk about blowing um, bitches' backs out. Mm, I've heard that. It's and a recent trend. Chance the we, Rapper, I think, does, says that. Yeah. Oh, was he blowing people's backs out back in 2013? <laughs> yeah. I, I, hold on. It's I, not I as new of a trend yes. as we saw. And I've mentioned this before on the show. This has been terminology for a very long time. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I've never wanted to correct y'all because it's like such like, oh, hey, honey, did you hear about the new thing that they're yeah, doing Nick, on Saturday Nick Night is, Live tonight? Nick is keeping it as a new thing. Yeah. This is I what like, the kids these days. Okay, but it's the occurrence of that phrase in rap music is significantly more frequent now. I think it's gotten to the point that you're aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've listened to a lot of old rap. I never heard Wu-Tang Kanye, guys. Kanye, had, Kanye said I'm trying to blow backs out. That's like with him and uh, Talib Kweli. So that was like. Oh, uh, that yeah. was in, in Get Em High? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to listen it's to that It's been having a good. My, a good my bad. When was that? I, that was I 04, no college idea. dropout. No. I like that. Was it? Oh four? Yeah. Oh, Didn't college dropout come out? Old, baby. Is, Is that, that when that's that's five? Oh, oh five. No. Oh, no. College five? dropout was oh five because I saw that was no late registration. I, literally was I saw him. Out of he opened for Modest Mouse. That was the other time I saw Modest Mouse. Mm -hmm. Was at uh at and a music Kanye festival. opened up. Kanye opened for him. It was it was uh Wilco, Arcade Fire, Kanye West, then This was in the pink Modest Mouse. And then um, the Pixies closed the show out at, at the like Gorge. a festival. Though. It was a festival. Sasquatch festival. Sasquatch. Okay, yeah. In so 05. So I saw Talib Kweli at uh, Warp Tour. Oh, wow. Probably around the same time. Yeah. And it was like a very weird thing where he was 
right before rancid and okay. uh <laughs> like all these like kids were just like yeah we're done with this you know and he he, it was, he like ended up getting like really upset because mm-hmm. i think people were just like flipping him off and being like we don't like this yeah. we're just waiting right. for the next band it's a yeah. lot of the rap is that, crap crowd yeah that yes. kind of is how the kanye west felt like we all use that opportunity to go to the bathroom yeah and now <laughs> like in hindsight we were like i didn't even know who he was i had to look him up before the show, that was how I became aware of him. Mm. Was when because I was there from. Does that sound really from 05, though? Keep yeah, going. that was 05. Oh, that was, yeah. That's 04. 04? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Look late registration came out in 05. Okay, so and maybe like, that was the one. Well, he definitely says blowbacks out in that. Yeah, in that he's song. like, your rhyme's trying to blow. I'm trying to blow backs out or something. Yeah. All right, like well, that. so rappers have been saying this for years. <laughs> oh, yeah, Talib <laughs> Kweli does that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, okay. and then, if you drive well, a big now s- that we've gotten <laughs> the origin, it. it's we, not, we well, now we have to, to get to the second energy. half of the it. bit. I stand second corrected. Half. Rappers it- have said this for eons. <laughs> All right, uh, since can- the inception of the art form. All right, you can okay. finish it off, Nick. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, and in in the truck community, there's something called a pavement princess, which is uh, like when a yes. guy builds out a truck with big stupid wheels and big mm-hmm. stupid tires, and then keeps it on pavement mm-hmm. and never takes it in the dirt. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. heard of that. Yeah, yeah it's disgusting. well, since these are already muddy, uh, <laughs> I'll say that. But at the same time, like I actually don't wear these. Like mm-hmm. these are not every day. Uh, I did try to keep them kind of clean. I did want to wear them on stage. And then uh, I realize that I'm like standing for an hour every time I go on stage anymore. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I wear these. Like I wear whatever's comfortable. Like yeah. I I definitely know people that have like oh I wear my cute shoes and I'm just like mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely I'm like a substance <laughs> over style kind yeah. of person. <laughs> like I'm function over form for sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know. These are like somewhere in the middle because they did unfortunately get muddy. Um, but I did try, like, they are cute and I do like them. Unfortunately, like for me, I'm, when it comes to shoes, I, um, I have like what you would call Flintstone feet. Like I can't wear anything by Nike. I have plantar fasciitis. So like, uh, anything that people would consider to be like cute shoes, Mm -hmm. just, Anything where it's like flat and there's no, no support, no cushion and anything like narrow. Yeah, so, like, it's anything, kinda... like, all my friends that wear, like, the same, like, Adidas Sambas, like, forever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, those are so cool. Like, I'd love to wear yes. cool shoes. Nope. And it's like, no, I can't even get, like, my foot in them yeah. because You're like, my feet are so wide. Let me get back so to wide. the Herman Munster era. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so, like, even we went to the Nike store probably, mm, may might have been a year ago now. And I got, I found, they do make Nikes that fit me. They're, they're called Metcons. Okay. And they're like, uh, they're like, um, what's it called? I want to say P90X, but that's not right. CrossFit. They're like CrossFit oh, okay. shoes. Training shoes, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like I have the, I have Metcon 3s. Okay. Some of the bright ones. Um, that are n- not are as sevens, chunky. Looks like. Sorry. Yeah. Show me like, a, if you can, like um, Metcon 3s, which I really liked. And they do, they are wide enough to fit my feet. But they don't um, they don't give enough, man. I really need yeah. whatever this weird shit that Adidas. Yep. These guys? Yep. I have those in white and uh, I have these and then I have them also in just they're like white, red and blue that are super cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. They uh, they do are they are wide enough to fit my feet, but they are uh, like if I wear that for a day, I'll be like, oh, my foot hurts. So <laughs> yeah. Bad. Yeah. I have to rotate through. I mean, I've got like one weird foot. I have like one foot that's like super wide and no mm. arch, and the other really? one is a size and a half smaller and just totally normal. So I Nikes are tough for me. So like yeah. most of the time, I'm like in pain, mm-hmm. and I just find that if I just like rotate between shoes, and I hate that I'm even saying this because like he's been pushing me more into Adidas, and like I have been rocking. I have like an Ultra Boost like that mm-hmm. that's just become my new like go to daily driver. Yeah. Uh, it's just because they're always, cozy, dude. They're they, so cozy. They're basically those. Just mm-hmm. they're the uncaged. It feels yeah. so good. Like I also, I always feel that way too. Like I'll go to the Adidas store and I'll buy like four pairs and I'll be like, I'm gonna wear each one of these one day a week or whatever. And <laughs> mm-hmm. then just like these, I'll start wearing them. And yeah. if I'm gonna wear shoes, which I don't very often anymore, because I work from home and like unless oh, nice. I'm going out to do something <laughs> like <laughs> now with like <laughs> Omicron where it's like, oh, I, I haven't put on shoes in a few days. At this point, <laughs> yeah. where it's like I have these like Nike slides. Yeah, they made uh, that same trip from the Nike store. We found these slides that 
um, they have like Seahawk. They have like the Seahawks logo on them, and I was okay. like, these are sweet. And then I was like, mm, I'm gonna get two, so I bought a Cubs pair just because it was like the least offensive ones <laughs> I could find there. And so, because they it seemed like they only had like Dallas Cowboy ones, <laughs> yeah. or like you know, I was like, mm, I'm not wearing any of that. But that's a, that's a statement in 2022. <laughs> yeah, so that's like pretty much all I like wear around the house. That's awesome. Um, you know, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm not too proud. I'll wear some Crocs. Like that would have been funny. That would have blown your guys' mind if I brought my. Oh brother, like, we did. Nah, it would have been our second Crocs. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. We, and we actually talked we about Crocs on the last the episode last week. Because uh, yeah, we did we Ugg slippers. Out. We're I had some really nice here. Ugg slippers back in the day that were like they had like the fur inside of them, yep. mm-hmm. uh, and they were like clog like slide ons. Those mm-hmm. were my favorite. Those were yeah, like really got, comfortable. His are called the Fluff U. Yeah, mm, there you go. Yeah, They're doing some those tons. are definitely look. Your glasses are <laughs> I know are fogging up. You're getting so <laughs> excited about. <laughs> I know. I am excited. Uh, <laughs> but those are definitely like. It's a it's that kind of stuff you can't wear if you don't have socks on. Yeah, like uh, I bought these like fake clogs, like fake Crocs from Walmart. And okay, they have like the fleece inside of them, but it's like it literally glues. <laughs> like like oh. if you try to pull your feet oh, out, gross. it's like stuck. stuck oh no. where it, like it pink socks and turns itself inside <laughs> out. Where you're just like, all right, oh. well these are not gonna work out. <laughs> oh, that's but horrific. I definitely had like some good fleece long Crocs before that have been. Pretty high on the list, but yeah, I mean, it's you go pretty funny to with think. your Crocs though. Do you go strap or no strap? No strap. No yeah. strap. You're pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're a pro I mean, then. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what that means. I don't need a four wheel drive. This, <laughs> this yeah. is called advanced crocking. Uh, mm-hmm. Anything before we got a little segment we want to do at the end here? I got some shoes we're gonna look at. Uh, it's called yeah. Get It or Forget It. But before we get into that, uh, can we take a quick break? Yeah, let's take a quick break. All right. Yeah, no, we're we're straight recording, and I want to remind those of you at home that this episode of Size Ten brought to you by Bearskin. That's B-E-A-R-S-K-N dot com. Use promo code Size Ten for ten percent off your order. I am um, gonna stand up, do a little modeling. <laughs> yeah. I got the uh, the holiday sweater. Are these even still available? You got the new model, right? Uh, not yet. The, that that I have a couple of those left. Oh, you got a couple of these. So if you like uh, like my skivvy, see if you get yourself a pair. Use size ten yeah. for ten percent off. That's over at Bearskin. B e a r s k n dot com. While we uh, hang loose on Jeremiah coming back from the stu- or from the studio auxiliary studio. <laughs> uh, what uh what do y'all think about? The pickles. We were just saying off mic a little bit. Like, oh, are, we, are we gonna go I'm to pickles like game? I'm like genuinely excited to go no, see I'm, again. I'm so sold on it. And we should mention what his podcast is one more time too, uh, because I was like, as he was talking about, it, I was like, oh, I gotta. I listened to it at some point, like when I first moved here, mm-hmm. uh, because I was trying to get to know people and support <laughs> local comedians, and so I like listened to it. They're pretty. Like, it was really good. I I really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm not even a fan of baseball. It's like s- people who are like listen to our podcast and like I don't even like sneakers, but you guys are hilarious. This is ridiculous. Like you, you kind of only talk about a little bit of sneakers stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about sneakers exponentially yeah. more than we used to. I'll say. I know. I was like low key hoping because I saw a picture of uh, Jeremiah wearing a Kraken jersey. Oh, yeah. it, did you get a custom jersey made? Yeah, my wife did. It's actually a hoodie. So oh, it's a hoodie okay. with my name and number on the back. And then phone number, right? So yeah, can, social security, <laughs> social actually. security number. Yeah, my social security number, <laughs> mother's maiden name. No, it's my hockey number. I uh, what's I still your hockey play number? Sixty one. I still play. Oh, sick. You do? I sp- yeah. I recently got kicked off of our team because I suck. But oh, uh, also I couldn't show. Up. Like our games were always on Saturday nights. Mm, yeah, yeah, that'll. And I'm not gonna not do gigs. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's like, absolutely. I'm never gonna get paid to play hockey. You know, mm. yeah. so. Uh, but yeah, we're, I used to be on the Village Idiots, and we were pretty good. We actually won well, we won the ship a couple of seasons back. Yeah. I, sc- I scored the game-winning goal in the championship game, and then two seasons later, like, we don't think you're good enough to be on this team. Oh, I was going to hit you with this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he still deserves that game-winning goal. Yeah. But then you got yeah. kicked off. It's uh, fine. You know, whatever. <laughs> uh, I could jo- I'm thinking I'm going to join the old man league because they play on Mondays. So there's like over oh, nice. 40 leagues. Oh, yeah, that's which I now awesome. qualify for. Mm. Yeah, congratulations! So. Happy birthday! 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy welcome to the old man team. Yeah, you're only uh, you're, yeah, you're gonna five be a, years away from a lot of great discounts. That's hey, right. You're going to be a spring there. chicken in that league. You're going to yeah. be like hey, fucking Hey, there's still guys people. that are fucking way better than you, though. Dude. There's, I mean, even if you're in your 40s and you played like juniors or whatever yeah. like there's dudes that played college hockey that play that are just like live around here mm-hmm. they're so good don't I let it just, fool you man I, those guys monsters. are fucking good i had a friend when i lived in minnesota i had a friend who was in one of those leagues mm-hmm. and like i went to one of the nights and, like i borrowed a bunch of stuff and i i got like i don't know my hands got hit really bad with a stick mm-hmm. and i was like not for me i am too old for this yeah <laughs> uh not worth it yeah like, <laughs> but yeah we did go to a kraken's game I need to. I Kraken, really want to get up there. I guess it's not plural. Whatever. I guess Kraken is plural. I say Krakens yeah. just because I think it sounds funny. Yeah. I think Krakens but is I, better. I've yeah. been corrected several times. Uh, <laughs> isn't a Kraken a big sea monster squid yes. thing? Yes. There could be more than one of those. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's there's like plural. five of them on the ice right there. Many Kraken is <laughs> Kraken. I, I think a bunch of Krakens sounds just fine. There yeah, you go. I'm, I'm with I'm, you. I'm on the same boat. I'm well, gonna start, I'm gonna hopefully call we're back. not in a boat when the Kraken <laughs> yeah, show the Kraken, up. When all the Kraken shows up. There. Uh, let, let's look Kraken. at a bunch of shoes. So, okay. uh, Jeremiah, this is the get it or forget it segment where we're going to do kind of like no nuance. you got to pick one or the other. Get it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go out and buy it immediately, but it means like, oh, you mm. fuck with the vision. You like it. You, you, you appreciate it. Forget it. Pretty simple. Eh, get it out of here. And what I will say is we have six shoes lined up for tonight, and we're going to start things off. Uh, these are – I didn't know that these were coming out. These are the Air Jordan 1 Golfs, and they're in shadow. So we talked about uh, – were those fours Yep. recently Jordan that came four. out? And you said you hit on them, right? I Yeah. So we'll I be talking about them. those <laughs> on an upcoming show. But in the meantime, we have the, uh, the ones in the shadow colorway, and I have some detail shots here too. You can see – these versus your fours. Your fours have like some pretty aggressive. Yeah, uh, so these are they have two different styles of uh, golf shoes. These are more the ones where it's just like a rubber grip, and then there's the ones with the actual golf. Sp- it's like mm-hmm. a plastic bottom with like real golf spikes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I forget the di- the name of the difference. So these are just shoes. They're basically shoes with like a with a grippier. But soles. you can wear them golfing. Yeah, and they say golf on them. But you don't want to wear them to play basketball, even though they have Probably pictures of not. basketballs. Yeah, that is a good point. I know. I want to see like the like Jordan swinging a club instead of a basketball. No, I want to see the same silhouette, but he's holding the club. Yeah, I I want to see. I want to see a whole basketball game played only in golf shoes. (laughs) Oh lord! Uh, All right, Uh, let me throw it to Jeremiah first up. Are you gonna get it or forget it on the the Jordan One Lows, the golf edition? I don't know. I'd probably forget it. I've never owned a pair of Air Jordans. I think they're cool. Uh, I mean, I was like a young kid when they first started and these do kind of like remind me of like that old style like the first kind of ones but Mm -hmm. yeah like i said uh they're way too flat and narrow for my feet i can tell just by looking at them Mm -hmm. i would love to be able to wear shoes like these but not for me not gonna do it all right not for me that is a forget it for jeremiah they do sort of have like an xj 900 remember those like that were like the pay less shoe source yeah oh yeah Mm -hmm. they do sort of have that vibe to them like if they didn't have the branding you'd be like oh these kind of look like cheap shitty shoes (laughs) (laughs) right yeah they do they're yeah well now that jeremiah shit all over (laughs) yorn are you gonna buy these shoes um (laughs) so right right. so i own I have literally just – I like these a lot. I own the high version uh-huh. of the – in the basketball one. Oh, not a golf, though. Not a golf. Okay. I have them, like the regular ones, but they're like the highs, not the lows. Uh, and then I have two pair of Jordan brand golf shoes that I have never worn one time on the golf course. I just wear my Air, my Air Max mm-hmm. ones. Uh, or my Air Max 90 golf shoes that I have that are this kind. I like them because, like, this is the kind of grip that you can, like, you can put this on at your house and yeah. then go to the golf course. Whereas, mm-hmm. like, you don't have those other ones, to, like, yeah, you, know, yeah. you got to, like, switch them out, like, when you get there and then mm-hmm. you're, like, walking on the parking lot. It's kind of weird. I'm not a fan of the spikes, even though I have a couple of pairs. This is a get it for me. Get it for Bjorn. All right. Well, maybe we'll see you out on the links wearing these pretty soon. Uh, and Nick, close us out. Well, no, because I'm going to go then. They uh, come out tomorrow. So. <laughs> close oh, out they the do panel. come out tomorrow. Yeah. Two um, that's, that's cool. What's, uh, um, no, I'm not a fan of the lows. The 
Jordan one lows. I feel like for the low top, I like the dunk. For the high two top, days. I like the, days, the ones. Days, yeah. Do they? So forget it for you, Nick. It's a forget it for me. Did They're they just kind of boring to me. Do they make dunk uh, golf shoes yet? I didn't. I'd never. I've never seen these. The ones? No. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, well. I've never seen Jordan got One more to look at. <laughs> golf <laughs> shoes either. Uh, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it quick. I said that I was a Jordan One guy. Unfortunately, that does not extend to the links. <laughs> It's going to be a forget it for me. Uh, so these are going to be a buck 40 at retail. And if you're like, you know what? A little too monochromatic. Uh, actually, these are not monochromatic at all. The next ones we will look at. Uh, they also make them in a triple white and then the wolf gray. Mm-hmm. The so, wolf gray kind of looks like the Dior ones that they, they did. Yeah, a little bit. It's that same colorway. Um, any uh, any changes on the panel from uh, get it to forget it? With no, the new but colors? I do like the gray ones better. I think the gray ones because of the mid panel. Like if you look on the originals, it's just all black in the middle, and yeah. then those mm-hmm. wolf grays give you a little more contrast. So I agree with you there, Jeremiah. All right, so we had uh, one get it from Bjorn and, and three forget it's. Next we, up, is... well, those are forget it. Those other colors, that's a forget it. For oh, me. yeah. Okay. I don't you like, like the OGs. I don't like a lot of white. Like you're walking in grass and mud and <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's dumb. Like and sand if if you're actually golfing in them and actually the the funny thing is I would wear Jordan one the uh, the mids like these these uh-huh. are dirty because I golfed in them so much those uh-huh. actually look very much yeah like I mean, these are what I would golf in uh, yeah. before I got my actual golf shoes well when we get off but. the links and we get back <laughs> into the streets now we're gonna look at some uh, sixes uh, that are low and these are the Chinese New Year I think maybe w- did we talk about these in a previous episode. No. No, we, we did, talked it about was a, a different one. a different pair of sixes. Gotcha. So um, these are your pretty straightforward sixes. Uh, said it was available January. It is. Does anyone know when Chinese New Year is? I know it's coming up because <laughs> I'm getting emails up. from yeah. Alibaba. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's not a racist joke. I'm literally getting emails from them saying, "Hey, it's going to slow down." Uh, yeah. I'm going to start it over on this side. <laughs> no, not for me. Uh, white and gold uh, might work for some people, but uh, not for your boy, Nick. Six yeah. lows. It's a it's a forget it for me as well. What is not tickling your fancy on this? I don't like the way the six looks as a low top. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. The colorway I do like. I do kind of like the gold and the the blue, but it doesn't with white. I don't really like. It's kind of a boring shoe, honestly. Yeah, it's just a little a, drab. Just a white shoe. All right, forget it from Nick Bjorn. Um. I'm becoming less and less of a fan of the six, and uh, this is not. I'm, I don't like this at all. This is definitely forget it for me. Forget <laughs> it for Bjorn, and just for fun, what's your least favorite aspect about this shoe? Uh, I I just um, I don't know. I I have a pair. They fit like hockey skates. I said they're so mm. with these. These are actually pretty wide. You might like the fit on them. They okay. I'd almost size down. Usually I have to size up. But on a sick on the on the Jordan six, I would size down. Um, I just know I'm gonna get them super dirty. There's no way I'm gonna ever be able to keep oh, those to look like that. And even like I like the ice sole and the gold, but it gets so dirty if you just like walk outside, you know. So no, <laughs> I All right. not a fan. Forget it for Bjorn. All right, Jeremiah, close us out on the six <laughs> low Chinese New Year's. <laughs> Yeah, no, no thanks. <laughs> Pretty just, straightforward. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you go back to the other picture, yeah, I really don't like like this. Looks like it's made out of like foam rubber to mm-hmm. me. The tongue, uh, like just, and I don't know if it's just the angle of it because that kind of looks normal in the other one. And if you go to the other picture you were just at, it does look kind of normal here, but it just doesn't look like it would be very comfortable. So it's a. Uh, if it's like the the highs, because I just uh-huh. have the highs. There's it's um neoprene. It's a it's like a sealed neoprene all the way, and then mm-hmm. it's covered with like a rubber on the front of it. But it is like a neoprene, and then it's got this yeah. weird lace thing. It's a wetsuit. It's yeah. a wetsuit on the top. <laughs> it's of your a foot. wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I like to. Yeah, I mean, I do actually sort of like the weird lace thing. Oh, the little toggle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we've talked about that on a previous pair of sixes, and I guess that's standard across the line. But yeah. Uh, yeah. one thing that I think is like really goofy is the weird steering wheel jump man on the back. <laughs> yeah. Like, it put, almost looks like a, a collab with uh, Mercedes Benz. <laughs> whoever, put, whoever was like, yeah, put a circle around it. Why? I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, Chinese New Year. Uh, eh, eh. I don't know what these cost. I don't care. We're not getting them. Uh, we're going to move over to Adidas next. These are uh, some Yeezys, the 700. 
Nick, you're the resident expert. How do I say that word? I think it's supposed to be minivan. <laughs> minivan. <laughs> okay. Minnesota, Vermont. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, Jeremiah, we're going to catch you in the minivans. Uh, these are the bone colorways, by the way. And they don't come out for quite some time, but uh, I wanted to get a pair of Yeezys up on here. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I'd have to try them on. I mean, I'm really, I really hate to be like the, mm, it's not comfortable, I'm not going to wear it. But those actually... I could see that. I mean, I, I yeah, I, I, w- I would get those. So, I would get those. Yeah. you got to get it on the think, Yeezy 700 minivans. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, what's more comfortable than a minivan? Like, that sounds okay. <laughs> And they do look like they have uh, like a pretty wide toe box they, area. And, the 700s you know. are definitely wide. And they usually, I, I think these have the boost. They have some of that yeah. boost foam sandwiched inside of other foam. It's yeah. Right, I mean, they are kind of ugly. Like they're they cut kind of like a moon boot sort mm-hmm. of like mm-hmm. aesthetic to them. But I don't give a shit. I'll wear them. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, I mean, even just like I wanted to get some Jordans just to say I had Jordans and then... Like everything I looked at, like that could actually be practical for me, were so ugly. <laughs> but I was like, mm, but they're Jordans. But they're Jordans. Like, nah. I, I, uh, Those I'm, Delta the, twos. You should if, <laughs> next time you're at the employee store, try yeah. the Delta twos because okay. nobody likes them. I like them. I, tr- I I didn't even. I, they were like, those are kind of cool. I tried them on, and I'm like, well, I'm definitely getting these. Mm-hmm. They're they're very close to the boost feel. Okay. They're like, yeah, they have that react. They have foam, react, which is soft and bouncy, mm-hmm. just so, like boost. I'd check okay. them out. They're pretty wide because I go for a wide shoe. Mm-hmm. Typically, I I wasn't. I also wasn't a, a a Nike fan, and then I bought at like an outlet store. I found some random Nike running shoes that were in a wide, and I was like, let's just try these on, mm-hmm. and I wore. I, I blew the back. I literally blew the back out on those things. Yeah. Like, um, well, yeah. What is the uh, so Nike does make the I think it's the Pegasus. Mm-hmm. And Pegasus so like, isn't a wide, and think. that's like every you know it's like uh, what's the dad shoe Air Monarchs? Right? Yeah, the so Monarchs. Like, those come in a wide too. And yeah. I will. I refuse to try them on. <laughs> I did try them at the Nike store. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't actually like it. I was like, no, this doesn't fit. But then I did find those Metcons. Yeah, and those were okay. But then yeah, the Pegasus is like. Every like you can buy them at like Kohl's, <laughs> mm-hmm. like you know, it's like every department store yeah, has yeah. like, ooh, the Nike wide Pegasus, you know, yeah. and it's like they're mm-hmm. like, yeah, we got Nikes, and it's like you don't got Nikes, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. where it's just like a black a black shoe with a white yeah, swoosh white on swoosh. it, <laughs> and you know, like they're like, ooh, we have three different styles, and it's like <laughs> this one is like knit on the bottom, and this one is knit on the top, and yeah, this one, and it's like. There's no actual like leather or fabric to really the whole shoe. It's just like yeah. mesh and yep. rubber, Oof. and that's it. Yeah. Um, Bjorn, minivan. Uh, minivan, man. Minivans. Let's minivans. be bros. Uh, so Bjorn, <laughs> Bjorn, I should say, is a uh, noted Yeezy. Not a fan. Mm. Skeptic. He's now, a Yeezy skeptic. But he's dipped his toe I'm in sorry. the proverbial pond. I do have one pair. Okay. Uh, and. I did just put in on a, another one, but uh, I, I, who knows if I get them or are not. We, are we going to make it two or three on the bone? Um, you know minions? what? I bone. tried Nick's of these on, and I don't know if like Jeremiah is just selling me on them. I kind of like these. These are kind of a get it for me. Wow. I'm slowly warming. There's on... something. That, yeah. I mean, there's like, I would wear them with like some like Zuba pants. Remember? Like, <laughs> like the... I remember. That was about 20 yeah. years before Nick was born, though. So. Yeah. Like... Yeah, I don't know what that is. The name is funny. I laughed it's, at the name. The pants Zuba were funny pants. too. I'm, I'm picturing purple um, leopard print for yeah. some reason. Zuba or z- pants, or zebra like, print. Yeah, it's like the zebra where yep. it's like the uh, like Rex Quando. Oh, you know? those big ridiculous yeah, baggy like MC but Hammer pants. But yeah, like baggy but, but with joggered. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, those would go good with these minivans, though. I they think. would. That yeah. would be a good look, yeah. I, uh, like real quick. Oakland Raiders t-shirt. You could get some throwbacks. Oh, like, fire, ooh. dude. Those with the minivans, honestly, <laughs> I haven't I haven't chimed in yet, but I think that would be Those look like look. Mick Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Those they do look, look like, Mick, like kids. Mick Kids. That's, yeah. that's the same color scheme yeah. right uh, there. But anyway, uh, so rumor on the street is that Nick Scalzone already owns a pair of they 700s. They look very much like I the ones he has I do have a right pair of now. 700s. Are I, you going to have two pairs of 700s? Uh, they're not going to be the minivan. I They've Ooh. come out with a lot of, of colorways of this, and it just it says 700 in big stupid letters on the side. I lo- the, the 700 oh, V1 mm-hmm. 
It's like it's backwards, the though. best one in my opinion. The yeah. V2, some people like it, but the 700 V1 is where it's at. They really nailed it on the first one. So the V3 is also kind of cool. I do have a pair of those too, but this is not it for me. So this is a forget it for me. Forget it for Nick, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna keep it moving. Forget <laughs> it for Terry. Uh, it's just a little much, uh, and I'm not a huge fan of the Yeezys. Uh, these are going to retail for 220 So does that change anything for the boys over here <laughs> that are in the get-it category? I mean, that's a lot for for uh, how cheap that shoe looks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got yeah. money, bro. It's I like, yeah, daddy. You're like uh, yeah, Jeremiah's like, 220 like, that's light It's like work. when you Get look at the, the MSRP on like the, the like high-end um, – like minivan, like the what is it, a car- Dodge Caravan or something? You're yeah, like, what? Chrysler They're- Pacifica that's oh, like yeah. seventy thousand. Oh yeah, you're yeah. like it's seven hundred. Well, I mean, it does have four TVs and right. <laughs> like, yeah. Who um, comes with a PlayStation Five built in? Very quickly, who's the endorsing uh, partner of the pickles? Oh, we got a lot of different ones. This year it was Planned Parenthood. Yeah. Nice. That, that was pretty good. Could be yeah. convenient for wow. youth athletes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about what about uh, athletic wear, footwear? Are they a Nike, Adidas, Under, oh, Under Armour? Well, like their uniforms, I think were Nike. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Nike stuff. Yeah, it seems like sometimes the big shoe guys don't give a shit about what's going on in the backyard. Yeah. Like they'll throw you a bone every once in a while, but I guess they're building too many like, like high school gyms or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're, Airwalk. We're staying <laughs> yeah. with. Uh, we're, we're sponsored st- by Airwalk. <laughs> some old brand. <laughs> that would, that would be actually some Payless brand. Yeah, uh, we're gonna stay in the Yeezy category, and we brought these up a while ago. I don't think we ever did these on Get It or Forget It. The Yeezy Knit mm. Runners in the Stone Carbon, aka. Uh, I don't know the dipped banana. Uh, I, I don't know what to say about these shoes other than forget it for Terry. Nick, take the it away. Knit, oh no, I want them. They're want so it? dumb that I want them. Get it. 100%. I think the one thing we called They're out... They're obnoxious. Well, we talked about these before. The side profile is not doing these shoes any favors. Right, but I feel like I've seen... Down. I, and I've now seen like some on-foot pics of them. And they look... So you're, they a, look, you're a foot freak. I knew They it. look better... On-foot pics. <laughs> what fucking He's dark got web the... <laughs> fucking place did you hey, find that? I, was... Dude, the TikTok has an algorithm. He had to tip mm-hmm. an extra like... 20 coins to get the on-foot pics. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, I am I am so sad that I looked that up as well. <laughs> I can't even sit here and pretend like be cool and <laughs> pretend like I didn't. Well, because you look at this, you're like, how does this work? Yeah. Like, what does it look yeah. like with but a- from this top view? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out of line and say that would be a get it for me. Okay, because it actually looks comfortable. Like as long because I'd have to use my shoehorn, obviously, because it's a very small hole. I don't know if that's I don't know if we're uh, if that's on purpose, but that is a that's a very suggestively shaped hole at the top there. And uh, but I bet you it's they look fucking comfortable. I bet you they feel like a glove. They so, do look like cozy. if you put if you put your fucking toe socks on and then put this on mm-hmm. and just like lounge around on like Christmas Day, I bet you'd feel like a million bucks. But Jeremiah, with the wide foot, do you also have to put on your foot? Uh, corset to like it looks like it gets so narrow there in the middle yeah i don't know my foot would be it, touching it looks the stretchy ground though but it's it yeah it's like, definitely it's stretchy it does look like that typical yeezy thing though where it's tight in the toe you definitely yeah. go half of size or all more right we're, we're going with the non-traditional uh route bjorn you're up next oh this is a well okay i did uh i i I was at a sneaker store and i held these in my hand they're thicker than you think you didn't put it on no. Why didn't you put it on? Because they didn't have my size. Oh, okay. Well, that's I, great. I put Probably my hand in it and stuff. Too, right? Okay. No, this oh. one wasn't. They I had, was just like, no. I it refuse. was a little. It was. It wasn't like I'm I not was putting ex- it on. <laughs> <laughs> as much as everybody yeah. will want me to, I'm not gonna know what it feels like on your foot. Just no, my no, hand. No. It's just. Ew, did you like climb up the wall? Oh, you just do hand stuff at the yeah, foot. Yeah, I just did hand <laughs> stuff. I just, you know, I kept it classy. It was our first. It was my first time with the shoe, so you know. Is it a, is the hole as small as it looks on TV? <laughs> it is. It's very tight. No, uh, there's a little more structure to it than it's basically oh, like I got those... to. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the blow the back out yeah, music. This uh, is the blow the back we'll out. Cut that short. This. Continue. Continue. Are you gonna Are you gonna get no. these things? God no. Does it's it really? No. Say, no. And it really says the size on. That's like uh, like like printed. I don't think I'd like uh, that. That makes me feel weird. Yeah. Well, you don't want the world knowing you're working with a monster? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. 
Well, it's like, uh, you know, like I'm fat enough that Levi's doesn't print the size on the little, t- you know, like on the little patch on yeah. the back of your you just pants. Just put double X. Yeah, where it's like, nope, anything over 36, we don't put, <laughs> the, we don't gonna, put that number on there. <laughs> we're going to put that on the inside. Mm-hmm, that's a secret size. <laughs> what if they just stopped at 36? They do. No, no, oh. but like printed it on all the pants all the way up, and you're like, yeah, we're at 36. Yeah. That's a, that's like a women's it. clothing thing. Oh, yeah. That's like, like a Seinfeld episode. Vanity sizing. Yeah. Where he was like scratching it out and putting 32, <laughs> even though he was wearing 34s. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jerry uh, did we get an official answer from you, Nick? He owns them. From me, I, I definitely said get it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to uh, review. Uh, we're get all it. getting them. Uh, at 200 bucks? Yeah. 200. Bjorn's buying them for me. Two hundred. Uh, who's Ben? Ben Franklin's. Oh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna like convince. <laughs> See if you can get a three pack. Uh, there you all go. right, it's gonna deal. Uh, so this get is gonna be Costco. There you go. Uh, this will be a real. Wait, what size you wear, Jeremiah? Uh, I think these are elevens. Usually oh, eleven yeah. and a half. Like I'm very okay. standard. Yeah, not very many options when you go to the employee store. Yeah, where they're like, oh, the most popular size. Yeah, we don't have. It. If you <laughs> wear a thirteen and a half, we have anything you could possibly dream yeah, of. Yeah, I mean, but. if you need an eight or a fourteen, we're yeah. good to go. Yeah, but if you're anywhere between ten and twelve, yeah, sorry, yeah, bud, yeah. give up. You're fucked. Uh, we're gonna go with a, uh, another throwback, Bjorn. You actually requested these, but in a different colorway, and I couldn't find that one, but I found this one, ooh, and ooh. I think it's cooler. Uh, these are the. <laughs> The air more up tempos in stone carbon. Now you have gone on record, and we're gonna keep like the non traditional route going. You've gone on record as saying that you are a big kind of like red, black, and uh, white, the bread kind of yeah. colorway mm. style thing. Um, one thing I want to call out: don't get your hopes up because these are only available in great school, oh. little kids, and infants. Uh, but classic I think Bjorn. This is yeah, right. <laughs> this this is go gonna go great with my train conductor overalls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, these would be fire with the train <laughs> conductor over in yeah. the shorts. Really oh yeah, yeah, like some tall socks. So uh, <laughs> unfortunately, they are not going to fit either of your weird feet. Uh, but we're going to go back to the whole like my future uh, hype beast child. Are you going to cop a pair of the Airmore up tempos? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. These yeah. are sick. I love these. <laughs> And like like this, I'd put this on my I put this on my dog. Like, <laughs> like put that shit. He'd on look everything. fly. I'd get two pair and let, <laughs> make him try to rock around in these things. I like it. I like them. All right, we're gonna go around the horn clockwise. Jeremiah, you up next. If you got a little uh, kid running around, oh yeah, you're gonna, I mean, you're gonna kind of drip them up in the air mores. Those are pretty dope. Uh, they are very 1990s Chicago Bulls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely they are kind of throwbacky though because that was like a big thing. Like originally, you know, like where it was like Nike Air, like everything said Air on it, mm-hmm. you know, and it had like the the bubbles mm-hmm. in the soles, like that was like a big thing when I was a kid. And then, uh, you know, like everything had to like one up itself, you know, to where it was like uh, when Shaq started making those Reeboks yep. with the fucking tsh, with the yeah. little like co2 canister that came with oh, it oh that's right remember that those yeah. shack shoes like a kid Wait, in my what, school had what did those. he do he had shack had these reeboks so bef- after the pump okay so the reebok mm-hmm. pumps mm-hmm. and then after that it actually came with it was a co2 and it was like just a little like fucking thing that like, came with oh. it and then there was a nozzle on the tongue of the shoe and you would pump the shoe like tsh. yeah you would actually yep yeah, that's what those remind. Don't those look kind of like oh, that? Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah, and so it, it actually came. There was like on the side here on the tongue. Like you would, you would, you would actually. No, it was a. It was like you would. It would just just hold on to there. It. You would okay. connect oh, to you it. Know what? I got a photo of that too. Hold on. And it was a funny little canister of air. Where would it go? Sorry. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, right that's there. Yeah. It this is a, this is some wild shit to me. That looks like it's like pumping it up. Yeah, but. that's a different thing. Oh, okay. I was gonna uh. say this looks like some weird sex toy shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, but that is the same technology. But there used to be. It came like that, but it, it just looked like I can't even describe it. But it looked, instead of it was that like being a like handle. a bulb, it was like just a thing with a switch on it that opened a valve and it just went. Well, and it had like a, it, it was like those little CO2 canisters, yeah. like you put in a BB gun. Yeah, you just, yeah, yeah. You'd put those in there, and, and then you do a whip psh- it afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say when you're like, oh, it came with the CO2, and I was like, wow, we're really. I've, I've seen too many like. That's uh, NO2, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a drug at the end. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah th- but these, these are actually, those look a lot like that, don't they? Yeah, they do. Same era. So <laughs> these are the Shack Attack, spelled with a Q, fours, uh, and this is the repop. So uh, I tried 
tracking down. Well, I'll show you. Real show me the Shack quick. Attack one. Well, this is the this is the original film. Oh. So like this is the one that I think you're like, yeah, they had the little canister uh, mm-hmm. that, that littered my neighborhood for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Weird. Yeah. So, uh, but it looked like you know what it looks like is like uh, pepper spray. You know, like yep. yeah, it's the same size as like a, you know, like a, you know, we've all been pepper spray. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, so that's a get it. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I don't have to try to put my foot in them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because yeah, um, they don't look comfortable at all to me. No, they do we'll not. go. We'll keep going around the horn. I'll keep mine quick. Uh, and this is like, this is tough for me. That's a forget it for me. Although this is very evocative of those uh, Air Moabs to me. Like yeah. the way that the Air Moab had the weird text on the bottom of the shoe. This is like uncharacteristically fun for Nike. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, which makes sense when it's a little kid's shoe, but like a full adult. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of those Reeboks a ton. Mm-hmm. Nick. No, the, the up tempo is like a classic style. I've seen I've seen adults wearing these. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. They're, and they're not for me. <laughs> not There's for you? There's no way I could pull these off. There's no world that I would be wearing these around. So that's a. I'm just a, stoked on this colorway, honestly. <laughs> oh, the the colors look nice <laughs> together, but I wouldn't wear them on this shoe. I think that's where I'm at. This is the closest you're going to get me into those things. Uh, one thing I will say: those swooshes on the toe. Well, come on. I know you got to get one in there somewhere, but that shit is just lazy. Well, uh, Nike's been really big on swooshes on I the know. toe again. Yeah. They've really gotten. Uh, or need to put th- them on as many these as These look can. like they fit like the Air Griffies, so they would be horrible on <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well, uh, they're not priced like the Griffies. They they tear mm. down from 130 for the grade school. Little kids is 95, <laughs> and then the toddlers are 75, which still That's blows. a lot of money That's for a lot still for a baby. blows my mind. Yeah, I, for a baby shoe, they grow out in five minutes. Not going to happen. All right, the last shoe uh, of this evening is the New Balance Cross Country 72 in the Moonbeam uh, color. So this is going to be notably different. Uh, we've got a couple little profiles. Notable things to call out on this, they got the new New Balance logo on the tongue, but it's not centered. So it's like, it's it's just positioned strange. Hmm. Uh, I, the giant N on the side, and then probably the most kind of like jump out is that wrap around the toe, which... As we're talking about a cross country, I think that that actually might serve some sort of purpose. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to keep it short. For me, we are going. We're going to the bank on this one. I like these. I think they're fucking weird looking. Uh, I think that they are, for some reason, I'm just like horny for New Balance. And then the weird little black thong in the middle of them is uh, kind of intriguing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bizarre, but you know what? A little whale tail moment in the front yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nick. How are you feeling about the cross country seventy two? I'm very torn. I like the shape of them. Mm-hmm. I like all the. Uh, there, there's so much going on though. Like, mm-hmm. I, are these a high fashion collab? I don't think so because I, I know what the price is and it is not high fashion price. <laughs> okay, because they look like they could be some sort of high fashion thing. It's in similar. which case I would get it more. But it's like it doesn't seem like a typical New Balance. It reminds me. I can't remember the model. Remember that New Balance we looked at and all the photos were like that model in like a CrossFit gym. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. feels kind of like that. Yeah, where you're like, yeah. are you really working out in that or like just the more looking rugged the version? <laughs> I just I don't I don't know. I don't hate it though, so I'm gonna go get it. I I like. I, I like the overall like shape of it. I like the same detail you like with the black stripe going down the middle. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. There's also this the little The shape of the heel. Effect. I really like the shape of the heel, and I like all the different textures. So I will say very quickly, I don't know if those at home are going to be able to see this, but it looks like this is clipped off here. It's not. I'm pretty sure that's flat on the back. Like, yeah. It's, it's like squared off. Yep. And it's, yeah, it's got some hard corners, which is kind of fun. Kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, Bjorn, how different. are you feeling about the Cross Country 72s? I want to like them. I really just do. Just let yourself do it. <laughs> just, just let go. In. Just, just let in. go. This is like a shoe that I would find at like uh, at like Burlington Coat Factory and <laughs> Big Five. <laughs> yeah, something like that. And just be like, what the fuck is this? I am buying this for like ninety dollars, maybe max. Uh huh. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I do. I'm gonna go for a get it on this. All right. They look pretty wide too. They like from that from that overhead shot. They do look pretty wide to me. Correct me if I'm wrong. New Balance is generally a company that has been friendly to the wide foot. Yeah, field. they're the wide foot mm-hmm. company. Is that is that yeah. like their competitive advantage? Yeah, that's why they're the dad shoes. Ah. Yeah. yeah, they do make they do make wire shoes. Uh, I do I do like that they are kind of like stepping up like 
so I just went to I just went to the doctor last week, and my doctor Marla, Humble who's brag. like, you know, she's like a like you know like a fit like fifty year old lady, mm-hmm. and she was wearing not they they looked very much like these actually like they weren't this stylish, but they had the same kind of like logo. Mm-hmm. So I don't know yeah. if New Balance is doing that with like all their shoes now, but they were like kind of chunky. Mm-hmm. And I even said, I was like, those are cute shoes. And she was like, thanks. Don't ever say that again. Uh, <laughs> but and so I do sort of like these. I don't know that I like that they're like asymmetrical where like the the grain on this side is not the same or it's like two different patterns. Mm-hmm. I think I would like it more if it was if you go back to the other picture, if yeah. they were just like this like the square all the parts. way around, I I kind of like that and I do sort of like where it's like, "Ooh, this looks like the Moon Rover drove on it." And then the back <laughs> of it does sort of look sort of like uh like kind of got a spaceship B vibe to it where it's like weird angles. Um like I think they're cute. I obviously don't think they would fit on my feet, but like I would get them for my wife. Like I think they're yeah, cute. Yeah, it counts. And, and my yeah, we gotta yeah. get a new drop for when we actually get uh, unanimity on the show because it doesn't happen it doesn't. that often. Yeah. So I can't believe the New Balance Cross Country Seventy Twos is what uh, brought us here. That is it for uh, get it or forget it for this week. Uh, any any last words on some of the shoes that we looked at on uh, pickle dicks on Twitter? <laughs> anything like that? <laughs> Hey, I well when you when you were saying that they just let you do whatever you want, mm. that picture just like went right into my brain because yeah. I because I, I don't really follow them much, but uh, somehow my, up, I, I saw it. I was like, it, oh shit! It definitely blew up. Like I I put it up on a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's probably how you. That's saw probably it. how I saw it. Actually. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I I think that uh, you know, no such thing as bad press. Yeah, it's kind of like they're. You know the way they they handle their social media, mm-hmm. and so you know it was a it was a good shot. And then mm-hmm. if, if everything goes completely sideways, you blame it on a mascot, there yeah, right? <laughs> Where it's like, oh, this uh, you know, yeah. anthropomorphic intern was fired, pickle. You know, like <laughs> yeah. they're like we're investigating the mascot for his transgressions. <laughs> They've canceled you know? teams, but I don't know if mascots yeah. have been canceled uh, yeah. yet. Yeah, so it's like. Um, I, I spoke to a representative from the team today, and they were like, there's an internal investigation going on. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Dylan is uh, suspended indefinitely, which <laughs> means until the season starts. <laughs> right. And, you know, they're just running with it, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the Blazers – when they investigated Chauncey Billups oh. in, internally, Speak you know, on it. Speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs> you know, right. It's like, oh, we're he's our guy and we're going to have our own guys look into it. And, and yeah, strangely, we won't find anything wrong. <laughs> he's uh, like, Why is Neil O'Shea winking? What yeah. the fuck? I don't know. So I'm going on. Uh, I'm going to be on 1080 The Fan on Thursday uh, with uh, AJ and Dusty promoting mm-hmm. the show. And I'm like. I don't know if I should make that connection. I don't know if I should say that on public. Uh, Those guys radio. on 1080, yeah. they will fucking eat you alive. Yeah. They're all like. Uh, you think they love Chauncey Billups? I think they liked Neil. I think that they gave yeah. Neil a lot of. Whatever. We can talk about this <laughs> off air. Uh, yeah. Fellas, anything on your end? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, uh, I got uh, Jeremiah, do you have anything you want to promote? This will be out on the 2nd. The 2nd yeah. of February? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, not off the top of my head, you know, we just, um, trying to convince myself to start making a second season of my fear and loathing in Tacoma podcast, Mm -hmm. where I just talk to people about when they got high. Uh, and I just like, haven't really brought myself to do it. And I keep like promoting it where it's like, (laughs) Hey, you know, and I go and I look and I'm like, Oh, people are still like, listen, I'm getting new listeners from like promoting it at shows. But I'm like, I should start making new episodes, but I'm just really, you know, like we talked about, like social media, all of this stuff that people that are like doing this full time and don't yeah. have a real job. It's like, oh, you can make this look really easy, but uh, uh, editing, like recording, <laughs> editing and like producing your own podcast is fucking terribly hard and <laughs> it's you. not very fun. Uh, uh, <laughs> it just really isn't. You, you know, it's are, like you hope people yeah. listen because it's not very fun <laughs> it's, to me. You're like sitting there for like, I don't know, all afternoon editing yeah. a podcast and you find a mistake and then you mm-hmm. have to like re-upload it. Yeah, yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and it's like you figure out now when I listen to other people's podcasts, and I'm like, oh, I know why. 
I realized why this pause was so long or why they just said the same thing twice Yeah, because they didn't cut it in the right place and like move it over. You know, they're like, oh, I just listened to this and then I left it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't know. I hate it. So <laughs> I'm not, I don't know that I'm going to be doing any more so of my own. I love promotion. this promotion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I might check out a Pickles game though. Uh, Cause yeah, we're still going to be doing Brian time. Brian okay. time will come back uh, in the summer. Once the baseball team starts and just you come to a Pickles game. Yeah. I mean, and I have guest hosts like people that, so like Bruce Gray did a bunch of episodes, oh, cool. Joe Simons, who, you know, used to be on Blazers outsiders. He's the other half of our, uh, public address team so he is the now batting guy yeah. okay. and i'm the like hey joe have, you know yeah. you ever uh you know you ever been to bakersfield you know mm-hmm. uh just like dumb stuff <laughs> yeah. that I can, like ask questions yeah um and so him and i did a bunch of episodes together and it's just been yeah it's kind of like changed a lot too so i don't know cool all right well terry you want to take us out then yeah 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 uh so if you had fun tonight, check us out of the Pickles game in the near future because we're definitely going into the squad. Oh, yeah. uh, this has been Size 10 Podcast in the Size 10 Studios. You can catch full episodes on Wednesday, and we post some off-topic episodes on Fridays. Uh, you can get those on Apple, Spotify, YouTube. we got video on Spotify and YouTube. And then, of course, all the audio podcast providers out there. Uh, don't forget, use Size 10 as your promo code at bearskin.com, B-E-A-R-S-K-N.com for 10% off. And you can catch us on social media, Size 10 Podcast, on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok. Sure. TikTok. Hit us up on TikTok. Uh, I've never been with a body. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch Bjorn, Maricha, and Jaron George over at Curious Comedy every third Saturday of the month for Vibe Comedy. Super oh. fun show. Got a bunch of folks coming in from out of town. And uh, last but not least, if you like the show, Please hit us up on social. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We're trying to get our numbers up. We're trying to make it worth our while. Make the juice worth the squeeze. Jeremiah's really coaching us out here. But, uh, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to grow, uh, grow the show a little bit, get some more folks on here. So, uh, yeah, subscribe, and we'll catch you next Wednesday for the full and Friday on Off Topic. Take it easy, folks. <laughs>